I enjoy horror films a lot. Uh, I enjoy all types of films. Um, and of course, anything with, with stunts or fights is really up my alley, especially if I'm working on it. When I initially read the script for Demon Resurrection, I knew it was going to be a great project to work on and, and just had, you know, lots of images of, uh, of interesting stunts that we could add. I was hired on with my partner, Ed Wheeler, uh, as stunt coordinators. I was there through the pretty much entire audition process. When Alexis came in and we were reading together, we immediately had had a good rapport, and I think that that's I think that struck Bill, um, the director, as far as casting me. I thought I was only only going to be coordinating fights and stunts, and then suddenly uh, I had to get my acting chops back. I was trained at Northwestern University, although I've been acting since, I guess I was eight, I did my first show. Um, so I had gotten off track of that a bit, um, working, working as a fight director. So coming back Action. to getting this, you know, nearly lead role in this film was, was very exciting and quite a challenge. Playing Kate was, in some ways, a stretch because she's very serious and, uh, you know, d doesn't smile a whole lot, and that's very not, not like me. Uh, on the other hand, I'm quite the caregiver and very maternal. <laughs> that part of Kate um, was very natural for me. Acting with Alexis was, uh, was a wonderful experience. I mean, she's a terrific actress, and uh, I think she... She helped my work a lot. The Demon Resurrection set was sort of in the middle of nowhere in Long Island. Um, so <laughs> I'd say the biggest beef on set was that people couldn't use their cell phones. And it was an older house with a lot of antique furniture. So it was important to be respectful of this, these people's home. And they were living there while we were there. And they had guests over while we were shooting and um, you know that that was a challenge but it was fun it's a low budget independent film you know we were we were hot and dirty and working more than one job I was stunt coordinating and acting and dealing with costumes you know running you know liaison between actors and production and individual scenes that we shot in two hours. You know, studios have the, the money and the time and the resources to shoot, you know, one page a day. You know, we had to shoot eight pages a day. So you're working at a very quick pace. We had a lot of, a lot of people willing to come out, a lot of actors. Um, who came out from the city for, for those shoots uh, when we used demons and wore these stinky costumes and were outside all night and uh, very uncomfortable. Um, but they, they were just great. Um, you know, Dan Almakinder, I think, was there every time we had a demon shoot. And um, it was just, he was just fantastic. I had to stand in a couple of times for, for an actress that wasn't able to make it. Um, so I'm donning a, a wig occasionally and, and uh, you know, doing a stunt here and there. But most of us at some point also played uh, demons. Um, so somewhere, you know, in those costumes uh, are, are Kate and, uh, you know, Denton and whoever else, everybody's in there. I think the whole premise of the, the film is very interesting. Um, and and it's, it's far more than, you know, axe murder in the woods or whatever, uh, you know, some of the more, if I can say typical horror films tend to be. Um, I think this has a good, strong plot. It's a horror movie and um, you know there are there are elements that that audience wants to have in a movie
but um, I think the moral of this is is very clear. Ultimately, this movie is about friends, and it's about, uh, I mean, it really is about good versus evil. Uh, the women are, are the leads, which is, <laughs> which is pretty rare. As far as I'm concerned, Kate, you know, Kate was pretty kick butt. <gasps> Even our our female uh, victim, if you want to put it that way, uh, kick some kick some uh, butt as well, um, and and you know draws on on her strength too. So. Yes, a lot of times, you know, women are, are the the victims in the movies or or whatnot. But I think this has a really good good balance of um, uh, of people in general showing weakness and people in general showing strength. It was worth um, the hard work, the production value. Uh, when you're on set, you know, you're not quite sure. And in the finished product, the production value is amazing. You would never believe that it was made for such a tiny, tiny little microscopic budget. So I was, I was very impressed. I'm thrilled that I worked on this, this project. I learned a lot about myself. Um, and I learned a lot about filmmaking and what you can do uh, with very little money and very little time. It really empowers uh, empowers the actors and the crew when uh, when you see such a great project.